Greetings, YouTube. I want to read two statements to you, and I want you to tell me which seems more sympathetic. Here's the first one. Parents sentenced to prison for belief in healing power of prayer. And here's the second. Pennsylvania parents sentenced in second faith healing death. Now, of course, the first one seems far more sympathetic. Um, and that particular um, statement came out of uh, Christianity Today, whereas the one I just, um, the second one I quoted, came out of a Religion News Service. Also, other um, headlines dealing with this case: Faith Healing Parents Jailed After Second Child's Death, uh, Time Magazine. Prison for Philadelphia Couple Who Chose Prayer Over Medical Care for Dying Son, uh, CBS Station. Faith healing parents get up to seven years for infant son's death. That's from uh, NBC, affi NBC affiliate. Philadelphia parents Herbert Kathleen uh, Catherine uh, Schlieb sentenced to son in son's prayer death, and that is from WV, uh, WPVI 6 ABC Philadelphia. And another one, prison terms for Schlieb's after second son's death um, from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, so obviously the Christianity today sounds a whole lot more sympathetic um, and, it, and it's a really stellar example of the endless the ceaseless the never ever going out of style energizer bunny persecution complex that the Christian community has in America today, uh, today. Um, uh, if I were in a more flippant mood I would say Christ what a persecution complex um, but some people might not get the joke these people killed their child because they decided, rather than seeking out medical help for their ill child, they would pray. Now, if you were a consenting adult and you decide to eschew um, modern medicine and serve in favor of homeopathy or simply prayer, you can. It's your life. And you get to do with your life what you want to in this case. I've got no problem with that. Um, if that works for you, cool. But you see, children can't grant consent. And it's the job of the parent to make the best medical decisions for their child. Except these people didn't make medical decisions. They just ignored medicine. Prayer is not a medical procedure. And whether you believe prayer has any effect or not is immaterial to this case. It isn't medicine. And remember, I'm a theist, and I'm telling you, prayer is not medicine. Now, I fully believe that prayer can help a medical treatment. It can put us to a state of mind where we are pretty possibly at our most receptive to be healed and to aid our medical team in its efforts to make us healthy. Oh, but prayer in and of itself is not going to make you healthy. And if you are at the last parts of your life and there is nothing left to you but prayer, then may the gods grant your passage. But this child couldn't grant consent. Nor could the first child grant consent. And because of that, it's the parents' job to make the best medical decisions for them. And these parents can't do that. Um, and the fact that these people could receive their sentence and eventually be released and then go and do this again um, is kind of terrifying. But there's nothing stopping them from doing that. Unless between now and when they're finally released, they have a sudden revelation and they realize that prayer is not medicine. Prayer is prayer, medicine is medicine, and one may help the other, but they are not a replacement for each other. And these people are criminals. They killed someone. You might say they murdered someone. Because they chose their particular religious belief over the best course of action for the benefit of their child. And uh, they deserve to be in prison. 
and frankly I hope they serve their full sentence because maybe that means that they won't have another child anytime soon and put that child's health and life at risk in the hands of people who are obviously incapable of making proper parental decisions. So, uh, yeah. Prayer isn't medicine, folks. And uh, anyone who tells you it is is trying to sell you something. <laughs>